Hi you all and welcome to my channel Overcoming Gluttony. My name is Alicia and I used to weigh 327 pounds. I currently weigh 259 pounds and I've successfully kept my weight off since July of 2020. Uh, every day I vlog and also on this channel I show you each week what I've meal prepped. I give you a tour of all of the food that I have in my household and I also show you the junk food that I've eaten when I was out and about plus we grow microgreens together and today let's chit chat about just a small bite just a small bite as we know as Christians a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump that's found in Galatians. I think it's Galatians 5 and 9-ish, somewhere around there. And for those of you who aren't Christian that don't know what I'm talking about, that's essentially um, something that Christians were informed that if you do a little bit of sin, which is the leaven, just a little bit of darkness, just a little bit of something, it's going to eventually overtake you. Just a little bit. Not just a little bit. It will overtake you, but that little bit will eventually take control. Kind of like the camel's nose under the tent type of thing. So, um, just a small bite, right? Hey, I can pig out during this wedding. It's a special occasion. I can relax during Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. And I need to turn off my refrigerator. One second. Sorry, I forgot to unplug it. Okay. It's Thanksgiving. I can relax. It's my birthday. It's my birth. It's my birthday. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. And no, I'm not saying you're going to be shot to hell because you overate since your grandma or your TT made your favorite meal or your favorite cake or whatever. What I'm saying is the mindset, the mindset are the justification of Eve as she looked upon the fruit and saw that it was goodly. She rationalized that, oh, well, it looks, it seems okay, right? Rather than obeying the word of God, which she knew, which we know that it is a sin to be gluttonous. Most of us know that. Um, rather than obey the will of God, she, or the word of God, she rationalized why it was okay to take a small bite. Earlier this month, I rationalized why it's okay for me to say, hey, it's my birthday. I should be able to um, go out to eat three, four times, knowing in my mind it's really going to be about six, maybe seven. No, we can't do that. We can't do that. Just a small bite. A little leaven leavens the whole, the whole lump. And we are already captive in the sin that we've chosen by being overweight, you know? That's like we're already bound. Why are we going to add another link to that chain? By deciding to eat too much to celebrate our birthday. By deciding to overindulge in the food that a special loved one prepared for us. By deciding to justify that it's okay for us to overeat for X, Y, Z, whatever. Just a small bite will send us to hell. Why? Why do you say that? Because evidently we can't handle it. Evidently our rationalization, our thinking is off. Otherwise, we wouldn't be in the position that we're in. So we need to ixnay that thinking about, oh, well, it's my birthday. I should be. No, we need to change that. We need to change that. And that's why you're still fat. Because you're still thinking that way. I'm looking at me, and I'm talking to y'all. talking to you. Okay? All right. So, I would like to report in to you today. I have 
nine minutes before I have to go to um, a Zoom meeting for my job about whether or not I was successful with doing my health goals. I decided to record this video earlier than my normal time and I have not eaten breakfast yet, but I have walked for an hour and gotten my 60 ounces of water in. Um, I did not eat my four servings of vegetables for breakfast yet because it's earlier than what I would normally eat and I'm recording earlier than what I would normally record. So I do intend to get those four servings of vegetables in. Um, to date, I am successfully, to date, I am successfully completing my goals at 97% of the time. And I would like to read to you a poem that I wrote. It is titled, Pray Rather Than Accuse. Pray rather than accuse. And I want to admit, I need to do this. Pray rather than accuse. Intercede rather than gossip or accuse. Lift up your brother and sister. Don't allow your strength to be misused. When you see things aren't going the way you know they should, pray for that child of God fervently the way Jesus would. Don't let your strength be used to place someone in a chain. Pray for that lost or wandering soul. Pray that they obtain their crown which Christ's blood has designated just for them. Pray that they may be freed from hardship. Pray that they'll joyfully win. No gossiping allowed. We must get on our knees and pray. Intercede on behalf of your brother. Jesus wants to hear your requests today. The enemy is the one who wants us to spread lies and accuse. We must be intercessors. Don't allow your strength to be misused. Pray, fast, cry out to God. Do all that you can to see that struggling person receive deliverance from God's caring hand. Thank you all so much for your time. I am hoping to see you tonight I'm not sure if I will, but um, it might be later when I get home and my schedule has changed and I need to wake up earlier tomorrow. So I hope that I can see you tonight, but it might not be likely. Um, I should see you tomorrow, though. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye.